Ben Criddle here, ESPN 960. I got Mike Atkinson, strength and conditioning coach for Westchester Knicks. Uh, Mike, how you doing, man? Doing well, thanks. How long you been with Westchester now? This is my second season with the Westchester Knicks. Uh, you've been you've enjoyed it. Where'd you come from? I came from Reno. I was with uh, the Reno Bighorns before that, and I had a private practice in Reno, Nevada as well. Okay, so you, where'd you do your schooling at? I did my schooling at Missouri Valley College. Played basketball there, and then I got certified later on after my playing career. Okay, so you played, and now you're you're in Westchester. I, I saw you working out, Jimmer. Um, you know, we cover BYU sports. That's all we do, and obviously, we're we're huge fans of uh, Jimmer Mania and uh, Jimmer in general. So, uh, what has it like been? What has it been like working with him on a day to day basis? You know, he's a true pro. He uh, he knows what it takes to to get better. He knows the demands that are placed on his body. Uh, he's very in tune with his body. So, working with him at a at a certain level. We have great feedback with each other and, and communication. So a lot of the strength training is keeping him ready to play every night on the floor, but also improving on his weaknesses that he knew about coming into the season and, and just battle testing those over time through the course of 50 games in the D-League season. He's really held up. What are some of his strengths? His what are some of his strengths as far as strength and conditioning is concerned? And then so what are some of the weaknesses you guys have been working on? You know, I think as far as his, his basic stability and his, his posture, his core, his trunk, and his hips are great. He, he stays pretty, he stays mobile. Um, a lot of people underestimate his athleticism and, and his things that him and I have talked about even from a footwork and technical standpoint that he picks up really well. So that's one of the things is his movement is efficient. And I think that's a lot of guys in the NBA. They, look, they make it look easy because they're efficient at what they do. Um, weaknesses as far as during the season we're just making sure maintaining his strength and maintaining you know the little muscle groups firing and keeping them activated I think his defensive ability to take a bump on the lateral movement is something we've worked on um, also getting some some power back some explosion I think that BYU fans would recognize his jump shot is pretty high end jump yeah. shot a lot of height on his jumper um, it's something that I looked at it on film when he got here and, and kind of wanted to work on it. He's getting his power into that jump shot a little more, a little more explosion. So you got to be smart when you do that with an athlete during the season. But since he takes care of his body so well and he's prepared every day, we've been able to kind of do these mini cycles where we can maybe dip into his weaknesses and, and build on those. How does his strength compare to maybe some of the point guards and shooting guards that he goes up against, uh, not only at the D-League level, but sure. you know, BYU fans still hold out the dream that he can get an opportunity uh, at the next level uh, you know, with the big guys? You know, I've had numerous point guards that have been in the NBA called up privately and with teams that I've coached. I say he's right on par, you know, is, is very average, very baseline. And, and a lot of this physical attributes I talk about, you don't want to be an outlier. So it's okay to be average. If I'm an average NBA point guard physically, that's okay because his skill sets are not average. They're above average or excellent. So, you know, his physical standpoint, we want to be comparable and, and can compete at any level. But he can do that. He definitely can do that. Uh, Mike Atkinson's on, on with us here, Cougar Sports, ESPN 960. Mike, um, you, know, you talked about his strengths, his weaknesses. Uh, I know I, I, in working with these guys, you become fans of them probably as well. You want to see him be successful. When he was up with the Knicks, were you, I mean, I'm sure you were rooting for him. Was it a little bit disappointing not to see him get his chance? There's, you know, there's, I'm not a fan by any means. I'm here to support them and, and 110% encourage any thing we can do to advance their careers here is our, our goals. Um, as far as not watching him play, you know, that is frustrating for, you know, for the young guys who don't understand the business. But for guys like myself, I understand the business. And we all know that when your opportunity comes, you got to be ready. And I, I know that he's ready when the lights come on. So that's all that I cared about is when he did get his opportunity, that he was ready and we helped him prepare. What other guys uh, should I look out for tonight that are, uh, I know there's the Atenkumpo uh, brother that's pretty dang good. Yeah, Thanasis has been fun. This is his second full year with us and he's definitely developing. Uh, we look at Thanasis kind of like a third year college player because this is his time overseas, has been here since he's like, in the D League. So uh, he's a great player also. Anthony the early on assignment, yep. coming in, rehabbing, being a true pro, developing his game. Uh, I really like watching Rashad James play. He's a, Crazy athlete, but he's definitely developed a lot of skills in the last couple of years in the D League. How, how does uh, Jimmer mesh with his teammates here in Westchester? You know, I think it's been fun. We've seen the development of uh, the teammate team meshing with Jimmer. And I think we're peaking right now as, as, a, as a unit and using each other very well. You know, it's fun to see Travis Trice and Jimmer play off each other more and more as they've gotten comfortable with each other. And so I think sharing the ball is contagious, and, and both of them are, have been sharing it with each other, and it gets our team going.
since Jimmer has uh, come here, how is the I, I know now what it's, I don't know how many games he's been here now, almost maybe thirty or thirty plus thirty plus least. games. Yeah. Um, before he arrived, um, you guys were successful. You guys you guys won I think maybe nine games or something like that. He came in and you guys would continue to win games. How much of that can be attributed to Jimmer's production? I think you know he's been continuously one of the best players in the D League, you know, by far and I think it's a testament to our coaching staff and our organization and, and everyone on their communication and accepting each other and knowing our roles and accepting that as professionals, whether it's a star player coming down on assignment or someone that needs to play extra minutes. So 